Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Trevor Murray, and today I'll be showing you how to set up and use the Noise Assist plugin for the Sound Devices Mix Pre 10 2. Make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with any new information that might come out about what you learned today. Noise Assist is a purchasable plugin for several of Sound Devices' current line of mixers and is very helpful when it comes to suppressing background noise while on set. On the Mix Pre 10 2, only one instance of Noise Assist can be purchased and used per device. To access Noise Assist after it's been installed onto your device, head into the menu, and then System, and Noise Assist. This screen allows you to turn on and off Noise Assist, and gives you a few options on what inputs you can use Noise Assist on. Now, because there is only one instance available for the Mix Pre 10 2, I typically will put Noise Assist on either the left or the right bus channels. This way all of my individual channels and one of my mixes are still recorded clean for post-production processing. Doing this also allows a group of channels to receive the Noise Assist plugin instead of just one. As you can see, you know that Noise Assist is on and working when that little blue dot is visible and is moving back and forth with the recording. Noise Assist comes standard at negative 6 decibels, but sometimes this much Noise Assist can alter the sound of your subject, creating a less than ideal recording. If using Noise Assist on the left or right mix to change the amount of suppression, navigate to the menu, record, and left Noise Assist or right Noise Assist. Again, the standard is negative 6, but I find the sweet spot to be negative 5 or negative 4. If you do decide to use Noise Assist on an individual channel, head back into the Noise Assist menu and select the requested channel. Again, you know it's working as the little blue dot now appears above the channel that you have added Noise Assist onto. In order to change the amount of suppression on an individual channel instead of the bus left or bus right mixes, click into the designated channel that you've assigned Noise Assist to and then navigate to Noise Assist. A pro tip is to always write on your sound report if you've used Noise Assist and what channel or bus you've assigned the plugin to. This way the post-production mixer knows that Noise Assist has been used and knows where they're able to find it at in the recording. Well that wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching and I hope you've learned something new that you can take on the set with you. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing for any new content. Thank you.